Cathodic Protection and Overview Part 1 Lecture by Dr. G. Subramanian Chief Scientist Retired CSIR Central Electrochemical Research Institute Cathodic protection is an important method of preventing corrosion on buried metal pipelines and submerged steel structures. CSIR Sikri has been conducting since 1965 a short model course on cathodic protection and pipeline corrosion, exclusively designed for industry personnel. For more information, visit website www.cecri.res.in. NB To create awareness about corals and coral reef, the background images of all the 20, 27 slides of this lecture are of them. Corals are colonial marine invertebrates and coral reefs are some of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. Cathodic protection. What is it and how does it work? Cathodic protection systems prevent corrosion of pipelines above ground storage tank bottoms, plant piping and many other buried or submerged steel metallic structures. A major concern for operators of these assets is extending their service life. Since corrosion is a leading cause of premature failure, installing and regularly testing cathodic protection systems is a popular solution. A wide range of civil and industrial applications use cathodic protection systems for many years of corrosion protection. Installation typically occurs during original construction, major expansions or upgrades. In other words, cathodic protection prevents corrosion on submerged and underground metallic structures. Cathodic protection is commonly used to protect numerous structures against corrosion such as ships, offshore floaters, subsea equipment, harbors, pipelines, tanks, basically all submerged or buried metal structures. What is cathodic protection? Cathodic protection, shortly called CP, is an electrochemical process that slows or stops corrosion currents by, applying, by applying DC current to a metal. When applied properly, Cathodic protection stops the corrosion reaction from occurring to protect the integrity of metallic structures. The technique is based on converting active areas on a metal surface to passive, in other words, making, the, making them the cathode of an electrochemical cell. The schematic diagram at the bottom side of the slide shows you, details you about the electrochemical cell. You can see anode connected to a metallic part through the, to the cathode and when the contact is complete there is a current flow between anode and cathode thereby anode corrodes liberate electrons they shift the potential of the cathode to more negative direction there is minus 100 to minus 250 millivolt thereby preventing corrosion of cathode. This is the principle involved in cathodic protection. This is a schematic illustration of a comparison between a freely corroding steel in submerged in, immersed in seawater and a cathodically protected through sacrificial anode system. Cathodically protected steel using an anode. We are going to see the difference. On the left side you can see a steel allowed to corrode freely by immersing in seawater. You can see there are minor micro galvanic cells, anodic, cathodic, anodic, cathodic, anodic, cathodic size like this. So in a freely corroding steel, there would be anodic reagents will be corroding. But on the contrary, on the right side you see when the steel is connected to anode, a sacrificial anode, the anode corrodes in the electrolyte that is sea water and liberates current 
electrons these electrons go to the steel plate which is made as cathode and enhance the potential of the steel plate to towards minus 250 millivolt which is saturated column electrode thereby it removes the anodic sites making the whole steel plate as cathode when there is no anodic site in the steel plate which is made as cathode and there is no possibility of corroding thus by corrosion is completely prevented this is a principle involved in cathodic protection basic principles of cathodic protection the technique is based around converting active areas on a metal surface to passive in other words making them the cathode of an electrochemical cell by supply of current the potential of the metal is reduced the corrosion attack will cease and cathodic protection is achieved cathodic protection can be achieved by either through galvanic or sacrificial anode cathodic protection or by impress current cathodic protection often referred to as iccp what is galvanic cathodic protection a galvanic system utilizes anodes connected to a protective structure in a circuit furthermore galvanic anodes use the natural voltage differential or potential between the anode that is more negative and the structure less negative to drive current of the anode and to the structure when properly applied and with limitations galvanic anodes also called sacrificial anodes can protect underground steel marine internal and industrial structures from corrosion galvanic cathodic protection systems do not require an outside power source to operate in addition these anodes can be both long lasting and easy to operate the simplest method to apply cathodic protection is by connecting the metal to be protected with another more easily corroded metal to act as the anode zinc aluminum and magnesium are the metals commonly used as anodes the most active metal becomes the anode to the others and sacrifices itself by corroding giving up metal to protect the cathode hence the term sacrificial anode as the driving voltage of the sacrificial anodes is low compared with impress current anodes the sacrificial anodes must be well distributed and located closer to the area being protected schematic of a pipeline being protected by a sacrificial anode using passive cathodic protection methods what is how there is no external power source involved the left side you can see the schematic presentation the buried moist soil moist soil there is buried pipeline it is connected to a sacrificial anode magnesium sacrificial anode and the pipeline is made as cathode so the moment it is submerged in moist soil when the circuit is complete magnesium corrodes it liberates electrons these electrons go to cathode iron steel pipeline and raise their potential to minus 250 millivolt negative direction versus saturated column electrode thereby diminishing or minimizing or eliminating the anodic sites in the iron pipeline thereby preventing corrosion completely galvanic anodes are available with a variety of features including bare metal anodes like magnesium zinc aluminum and other alloys backfill packaging for underground use external steel straps for mounting to structures multiple ribbon types rod and special shapes however the potential difference between the galvanic anode and the steel structure is not enough for protection to occur impress current cathodic protection when galvanic cathodic protection is insufficient the solution calls for an external power supply or cathodic protection rectifier 
Impress current systems utilize a rectifier to generate larger potential differences that drive current off of the anode so it flows to the protected structure. The benefits of these powered impress current cathodic protection system, shortly called ICCP, include the following longer lasting anodes, higher current systems, greater system control, and easy monitoring. Impress current cathodic protection ICCP. ICCP systems uses an external source of electrical power provided by a regulated DC power supply, often referred to as control panel. The control panel provides the current necessary to polarize the surface to be protected. The protective current is distributed by spe specially designed inert anodes, generally a conductive material of a type that is not easily dissolved into metallic ions but rather sustain alternative anodic reactions. Schematic of an object being protected by an anode using impress current cathodic protection methods. Notice how an external DC power source is involved. The picture schematic diagram on the left side gives you there is a DC power supply. Its positive terminal is connected to an anode. Negative terminal is connected to steel structure to be protected either in buried structure or submerged structure in sea water. And the reference electrode, the reference potential will provide you the condition of the cathode, how far it is being protected like this. An ICCP system continuously monitors the level of protection and adapts to the current required to stop corrosion. In good seawater environmental conditions, oxidation of the dissolved chloride ions will be the predominant anodic reaction, resulting chlorine gas developed at the anode surface. The reaction is 2 chloride minus gives you chlorine gas plus 2 electrons. In low salinity waters, the predominant anodic reaction will be deposition of water that is 2H2O, sorry, decomposition of water that is 2H2O gets decomposed into oxygen, 4H plus and 4 electrons. One of the most common impress current cathodic protection anode types for seawater application is Mixed metal oxide coated on titanium MMO slash TI, which consists of titanium substrate coated with a noble metal or metal oxide catalyst. How does cathodic protection work? Cathodic protection works by placing an anode or anodes in bracket external devices in an electrolyte to create a circuit. As a result, current flows from the anode through the electrolyte to the surface of the structure to be protected. Corrosion moves to the anode to stop further corrosion of the structure. Pipeline cathodic protection example. Potential variations occur naturally on an unprotected pipeline. Consequently, current flow from a minor positive to a minor negative causes galvanic pipeline corrosion. When you apply cathodic protection parallel to the pipeline, current discharges off of the anode and onto the pipeline, preventing corrosion. Schematic representation of pipeline without CP applied. You can see here the reference electrode. And on the pipeline without any cathodic protection, you can see there is a current flow between more electronegative region to less electronegative region. From left to right, you can see from minus 550 to minus 500 millivolt, you can see current flows from minus 550 to minus 500. Again, the next one is current flows from minus 600 millivolt region to minus 500. Again, current flows from minus 600 millivolt to minus 520 millivolt. Again, current flows from minus 520 millivolt to minus 450 millivolt. Again, current flows from minus 500 millivolt to 450 millivolt. 
for that again current flows from minus 580 millivolt to minus 500 millivolt again finally current flows from minus 580 millivolt to 520 millivolt so thus there are so many active anodic regions in the case where pipeline steel pipeline is not cathodically protected this is a schematic illustration of when cathodic protection is applied to a pipeline either buried or submerged in sea water buried in soil or submerged in sea water you can see that a front electrode beneath beneath ground we can see a pipeline steel pipeline maintained at minus 1000 millivolt and below this you can see linear anode from when the circuit is complete from linear anode current flows and it protect the steel pipeline so that that's that by the potential is uniformly maintained throughout the steel pipeline surfaces thereby minimizing corrosion or completely eliminating corrosion this is a schematic representation of how cathodic protection applied to pipeline in submerged condition or in buried condition it is capable of preventing corrosion of the steel pipeline cathodic protection system design properly designed cathodic protection systems can provide decades of steel structures corrosion protection therefore the best design engineers or experts in the metallic structures they are trying to protect they also know the phases of system design as given below understand the environmental conditions evaluate the structure requiring protection review options for the structure or application select the appropriate system complete the design including comprehensive specifications and drawings utilizing the latest engineering software not surprisingly design engineers possessing the right expertise and knowledge of the structure recovering corrosion protection should perform all phases of system design cathodic protection systems well designed cp systems can protect steel structures for 30 years or longer above ground storage tanks buried gas pipelines plant piping reinforcing steel in concrete structures heat exchangers marine structures such as docks and piers sheet pile walls other metallic structures levels of cathodic protection cathodic protection involves cathodic protection involves polarization of a metal in the active direction towards more reducing potentials cathodic protection has the effect of slowing or stopping metal oxidation in other words preventing corrosion protection potentials cathodic protection moves the potential of a metal surface in a cathodic direction to reduce the thermodynamic tendency for corrosion when steel receives enough current to shift the potential to a certain level the corrosion is essentially stopped electrochemical cells and the process of corrosion potential values for corrosion protection is depending on environmental conditions however as a guiding practice full cathodic protection of steel is usually obtained by a potential more negative than minus 800 millivolt versus silver silver chloride in aerated sea water plus 250 millivolt versus zinc in aerated sea water minus 670 millivolt versus calomel electrode in natural sea water and 3.5% sodium chloride solution minus 850 millivolt versus copper copper sulfate in soil cathodic protection measurement cathodic protection potential measurement is a method used to determine the adequacy of a cathodic protection system applied to protect a certain structure the adequacy or the corrosion protection effect is determined by comparing the measured potential with certain criteria for adequate measurement you have to ensure proper selection and insulation of equipment used in field measurements 
cathodic protection over protection risk the potential of steel under cathodic protection should not be lower too much or in other words the cathodic current density should not be too high in this case some hydrogen can be formed which can lead to risk of embrittlement of certain steels the ph can become very alkaline leading to coating damage criteria linked to the risk of over protection appears in the technical standards and recommendations limitations of cathodic protection in large pipeline networks there may be many crossings parallelism and approaches near the pipelines cp system dc interference may occur between pipelines which accelerates corrosion in order to overcome this problem pipelines can be electrically coupled either directly or through resistance for cotton pipelines cathodic disbondment may occur due to high cp levels where the applied coating quality is poor higher temperatures may also promote cathodic disbondment high ph environments are also a concern in terms of stress corrosion cracking conclusion cathodic protection is a popular protection method for preventing corrosion in pipelines offshore oil platforms and other steel structures however to be implemented effectively it is crucial to understand the basic principles of bimetallic otherwise galvanic corrosion choosing the right type of cathodic protection system depends on several factors including cost effectiveness and the size of the structure to be protected